Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, everyone. Are you ready on the motion for Michael is it McCreary? Yep. All right. The clerk can call the case. Two, three, five, six, four, eight, five. The people of the state of Michigan versus. Carnell Michael McCreary. Mr. McCreary is charged with count one, assault with intent to murder. Count two, assault with intent to rape by the harm less than murder or by strangulation. Count three, weapons, firearms, possession by a felon. Count four, weapons, ammunition, possession by a felon. Count five, assault with a dangerous weapon, felonious assault. Count six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, weapons, felony firearm with a habitual offender fourth defense notice set for a preliminary examination today. Uh, before the exam, uh, there was a motion that was filed by Mr. McCree to disqualify me from this case, and that is why Chief Judge Conoco is on Zoom to address that motion. Okay. Appearances. Edwin Sawaki, P54828, appearing on behalf of the people. Colonel Michael McCree, natural person, not a corporation, uh, natural flesh and blood. Uh, Thank you. Uh, thank you for your appearances. Uh, the court did receive a motion uh, to disqualify uh, Judge Leah Sabree uh, pursuant to MCR 2.003. Um, <clears throat> the court having considered the pleading and being otherwise fully advised in the, on the premises, uh, the defendant having moved to disqualify Judge Sabree, but having stated no grounds that meet the legal basis under MCR 2.003 that would demonstrate that the judge has shown actual bias against the defendant or defendant's attorney. It is ordered that the motion to disqualify Judge Sabri is denied. This order does not resolve all pending uh, claims as to the remaining parties and does not uh, close this case. So the motion is denied. Thank you very much. And Attorney Washington, I know you want to put your hands Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, Earl Washington as the backup attorney. May I ask Judge? Uh, that matter. No, that, that, matter, that, matter, that matter is resolved now. The, uh, this, this, the court is turning it over back to, excuse me, sir. The, the motion is, uh, the motion was denied. Uh, and now uh, the court is being turned back over to Judge Sabri uh, to handle the preliminary examination. Thank you very much. Well, can I uh, at least place my objections on the record? It's been noted. I mean, I'm just saying Mr. because McCurry, I thought objection. you were the chief. Mr. McCurry, your objection has been noted. May I, may I address the court? Not on that matter. I can't hear a motion to disqualify. According to Michigan Court Rule 2.003, the chief judge has to address it in a multiple court. But court. that's not how the rule works. Multiple judge court. This is a multiple judge court. Chief Judge Pacanico just addressed it. You received your motion in writing and he responded on the record and he denied it. There could be no more discussion for me about the disqualification well, no, motion, just, Mr. McCreary. It's been denied. But I cannot just address something. I mean, it's, it's already been addressed in your pleadings and it can, I cannot respond. I don't know if you that's understand. Not what I'm I trying, can't respond that's not what I'm regarding to the disqualification. I'm not trying to do that. What I was saying per the rule, I mean, well, the process. You're still you talking were, about something right. that has nothing well, to do with it. I object, and it's on the record. Yes, that, and I've noted that. So, as far as the exam, uh, the time is now 10 17. Uh, are you ready to move forward with your preliminary examination? Um, I came here today with intent. Like, yes uh, or no? No, I'm not. I'm not prepared because of this. I mean, I would like you won't let me speak, Judge. Like I you give me a fair chance in regards to, what to respond, you. but you won't give me a fair chance to say or speak. Mr. McCreary, I mean, I'll is, let you stand here for 45 minutes. Last time we were talking to you, didn't have anything else to say. So today, I'm asking you: Are you ready to move forward with your exam? No, I'm not. I would like to call based, witnesses. Based on what? Pardon. Based on what? Because my intent, as today, this motion was filed. The court was supposed to deny it because I thought you were a chief judge pro tem, and per the motion, it says. That if you were the chief judge pro tem, was supposed to go to the state court administrator. This this gentleman here, I'm not familiar. Like first, the, the you're still ruling. addressing the motion to disqualify. My due process is being violated. It's not. I mean, you, you won't read, let me. Tell it you seems why. as if you can read it right. 
the court rules are very clear about motion to disqualify. There's no black, no, no, it's black and white. Oh, so um, Mr. McCurry has been denied. Okay, we understand. And if that. you knew that, it also says that there's a timing in which the court can address that it can be any time. So you knew you need to move forward with your exam today. Well, what I'm saying is so, I have a right under 6.1 so, to call witnesses. Yes, you do. that nature. And why, why aren't you prepared today? Because I'm, you won't let me speak. I didn't, no, I said, why aren't you I'm prepared to, today? I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Today is your exam day. And I respond. You keep cutting me off, Judge. You're not answering my question. I'm not prepared because when I filed this, this court was supposed to make a ruling. Then if you denied it, it was supposed to go to the chief judge. No, that is I like process. to tell you no. It's not That's why I'm not I prepared. can't deny a motion to disqualify in a multiple judge court. Can I pull up Read the, rule? the court rules. 2.003. I'm familiar with it very well. We're not that familiar. And Captain versus Michigan Department of State. You can say any case of in a multiple judge court, I cannot handle your motion that you filed. It goes to the chief judge. Chief judge, I am chief judge pro tem. Two different things. I cannot handle my own motion to disqualify. That would be biased, Mr. McCurry. So do you have witnesses to be there? I was, you will let me respond. Yes or no? No, I don't. Okay. Because my intentions, as I stated, under this. It's just rule, a yes or no. I just um, want to know. I mean, so you can finish looking under court rule two. Why am I not being allowed to address the court and give it a fair exchange? Like I'm asking you talk. questions. This is not your court rule. I'm, I'm asking I'm not you. Trying to I have given you all the leeway up until this point. I mean, the law is. Today's the exam rights. day. Go ahead and check your court rules. Get back to me. Are the people ready to proceed? People are ready to proceed, John. And I object, I'm not ready, because, I mean, I would like to uh, address the record for preservation rights. So far as I have to go to the higher court. you want to research 2.003 first, because that seems to be what you were stuck on. I want you to go ahead and find I mean, that. And there's first. Michigan case laws. Court rule 2.003. Go ahead and find it. Tell me where it says that I'm supposed to address. OK, section B, who may raise, the party may raise, the issue of a judge's disqualification by motion, or the judge may raise it. May raise it. Excuse me. Disqualification of judge is warranted for reasons that include but are not limited to the following. The judge is biased or prejudiced for or against a party or an attorney. B, the judge based on an objective and Those reasonable. Those are the grounds. You got to get to the procedure. Right. Section B. Right. I can read it for you. 2.003 says three under ruling. Section I mean, I was getting one. In a you court having three? two or more judges on the request of a party, the challenged judge shall refer the motion to the chief judge who shall decide the motion to know. There's a written order that will be provided to you today. So, um, Mr. McCurry. I am ready to move forward with the people's witnesses. Well, I have uh, evidence. I mean, since you're forcing compelling, which violates my rights on UCC one dash three. Wait, also, I'd like to make it not pro time. Again, motion to uh, challenge the jurisdiction of the court. After this, the hearing we had last, well, I believe it was what third, no, uh, sorry, the thirtieth, I believe it was. The prosecutor gave me fifteen pages. He had tested on the record. This fifteen pages on the app. There's no warning. There's no signature signing off for the uh, prosecutor to initiate charges, whatever else. I mean, this whole case, I object to this case being uh, moved forward under a uh, Brady violation, Fourth Amendment violation. I mean, they're, they're committing crimes here in this courtroom, and this judge, judge you're allowing this. Nothing has been presented to me. Either. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm talking. Stop talking over me. You've been doing this since you've been in this courtroom. Every time you talk, I let you finish, whether it means it's meritless or not. I haven't heard anything of any substance or any value worth me addressing when it comes to Brady violation. So I'm ready to move forward. And if you want to call witnesses, as we have to hold in part because you didn't submit them today, we'll address that when it comes time after the people rest. So, Attorney Washington, is there anything you'd like to put on the record before we begin? Uh, no, you're Okay. Any preliminary matters from either side regarding the exam? Preliminary matters, yes. Uh, people have to address the court first. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, people have an, uh, Exhibit 1, uh, which I will show to the defendant and his, uh, Mr. Washington here. 
Um, it is a register of action certified uh, case number 980078610 H. It indicates that um, defendant Mr. McCrary uh, pled no contendere uh, assault with intent to main likeness as people's exhibit one. Oh, you say I was, I was found guilty of assault with intent to main. Hold on, he said I was convicted of that. Yeah. Under what court, under what statute? Oh, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Uh, I object, I wasn't convicted. MCL 766-11B-1B. Uh, I object to that, Judge. I was not convicted of that. Uh, matter of fact, Judge uh, Dalton Rolson was a visiting court. And again, this gentleman is lying to the court. He just lied to the court. That's perfect. And you had an opportunity to review the document? Well, he said that I was convicted of assault with intent to maim. Can I ask that what you said? I said, you played no. Uh, no, no. You I, know, I, you I, was, I wasn't well, found. Mr. McCray, you review the document first? Yeah. Okay, well, what does this got to do with the case? Robbery not armed and assault with intent to maim. I have the transcripts at home. And the court order from Judge, uh, he was a visit with Judge Dalton Rose. As a matter of fact, in that case, Your Honor, the prosecutor, uh, what was this, Thomas Beadle, I believe his name was, he said that the officer in this case lost his entire file. Can I see and I have this this transcript at home. How are you going to speak on someone you lost the file? This case was the one, the felonies were the ones. It was a misdemeanor, uh, aggravated assault. And that's the case that, because in the transcript that I have at home, I would like to make that in evidence. After this is a, a concluded or whenever I can, because he's just lied to this court, Your Honor. That's perjury committed to court, Your Honor. Okay, I have a seal here from the register of action seal from the Wayne County Clerk's Office stating that you played no contest to That's an aggravated assault with intent to maim. That's an aggravated, Your Honor. I have transcripts at home. Can you let me finish what I have to say, please? Sentence and committed to Wayne County Jail. You're sentencing on September 8, 2000. So, for exam purposes, under or under MCL 766.11B1B, um, exam purposes only. This is this satisfies with the. You can put place your objection on the record. Well, I, I would like to say because in this case, I have the transcripts at home. And I object because this man just lied to the court because in this case that uh, Thomas Beadle was supposed to be the special prosecutor. They held me there for two years. Then he stated on the record, there's no support for this case. The officer in charge lost the entire file. So how are you going to present a register of actions? That's not, that's not evidence, Your Honor. I have the evidence at home. And I would like to object to this. And I would ask that you uh, hold in contempt of court for uh, committing perjury. I'm going to hold you in contempt of court in many feet. So uh, I'm going to admit as Exhibit 1 over the objection of defense as a certified copy from the first office for exam purposes only, showing that um, Mr. McCree was convicted of Solomon Tetanay in 2000. Anything else for preliminary matters? Um, Not from the people here. Okay. Um, also, uh, uh, Judge, I would like to make a motion to sequester because I, uh, my intention is to call the chief uh, sure. detective on the stand because... Okay. You don't have to tell Ma me a theory. Ma yes. I will do it. Okay. Uh, so, let me make let me do that first. So, if there's a potential witness that's on this case, now is your time to log off. As far as in the courtroom, if there's anyone present who may testify on this case, maybe a witness, now is your time to exit the courtroom. What's next? Um, per the court rule, I'm allowed to admit evidence for evidentiary purposes, purpose of impeachment of people versus standing away. Um, I also would like to address to the court, Kim Worthy, uh, we was last year for the witness list out for officers who have uh, previously testified uh, falsely in court proceedings that they couldn't testify in future proceedings. My brother, Norman McCreary, has committed perjury in front of Chief Judge, uh, Wayne County Chief Judge, uh, Freddie G. Burton, he committed forgery as well as uh, identity theft. Also, I have affidavits from my other brothers where they've been trying to press charges. I've tried to press charges. And the prosecutor them not doing anything. Also, let me address, can I address okay. that first? Yeah. So, Mr. McCray, if 
your brother testifies, mm -hmm. you can definitely cross examine him, impeach him, and bring all that out. And if the prosecutor objects, we'll address it then. Well, but you, you, you can do that on I need to get y'all copies. No, I don't receive oh. copies until you introduce it okay. and it's provided to the court. But I don't do any preliminary uh, impeachment. So once you cross him, if it comes out that he was convicted of a certain crime under the court rules or under evidence that allows you to discuss it, then that's your right to do so. Um, I would no, I would just like he was not convicted, but he was in court when he was established by the chief judge, Freddie G. Burton. And my other brothers were kept in the mind all these years and they're trying to come forward. And I have an affidavit on my phone from my brother that's notarized. He's in the state of Florida. And the, the brother that's testifying. Today? No, my brother Charles had five. Over. So you have to address your brother today. Okay. When you, when you, when you cross -examine, okay. Also, uh, again, I would like to renew my motion to uh, have the prosecutor's office withdraw because of criminal misconduct, conflict of interest. Uh, my former attorney works for Kim Worthy as the director of the Law for Convictions Unit, Valerie Newman, and it is quite well documented that uh, Kim Worthy, as well as my former attorney, committed felonies. And it's, it's all a matter of public record. And, you know, for this gentleman here to come here and try to mislead the court, I believe it's under 3.3 of the Michigan Rules of Professional Conduct. It states once an attorney knows, I believe it is, that uh, they have told the court something, they must correct it. And this prosecutor is uh, made this kind of because I have a, a, a stenographer a transfer at home, uh, and which I would like to. You know the avenue to do that. You want to report this kind of You already know that. So let's get let's get started with the exam. I heard all of your motions and based on the record, and you will of course order the transcript to be able to move forward to the next step. If you want to um, so any other preliminary matters to address regarding? The exam today. Well, well, how about I'm just saying this the proper recusal aspect. No, I'm going to deny that. Well, I, can I place my objection? Absolutely. I, I hear your objection. Everyone else does. Okay. Um, so you're going to deny that. Okay. 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 Thank you. 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 And other things that nature. Now, now that would be you working for the prosecutor's office. You need to tell them how well, to try their case. Well, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying you is, can't. I want to question that investigation. Okay. And if the prosecutor, are you going to address that request? Or call who you said you're going to call? I have one witness. Okay. So is this case you get to well, start with? Well, I call to... as a witness, being that he's trying to bring my brother. I would like to so establish. Procedurally, prosecutor has the burden of proof. And you should know that. Well, so they have to go first. They have the burden here. Well, they have no evidence. You can call witnesses if you like to. If yes. you feel necessary, you can do that. We'll discuss that after the legal rest, okay? Yeah, they have no evidence, Judge. Uh, you don't know what they have. They just say they send the paperwork. I would like you to stay focused, okay? And the first thing we're going to do is hear testimony from the people's first witness that they have the burden. So please. People call Norman McCrary. Sir, can you state your name for the record, please? Norman Leon McCrary. And what brings you to court today? Um, well, um, the incident that happened on uh, the 9th, and um, I was um, leaving um, the house after uh, uh, another incident that happened inside the house. Okay. And I went to my next door neighbors. Okay. And Let me back you up a little bit. Um, was that February 9th this year? Yes. Objection that? leaving. No, I have some. Objection, he's leaving with the truck. I think, um, sorry, because he's said Um, but one the witness testified that it was nine. I was merely uh, clearing, clearing up the ask at the porch. That's in the county. Yes, in the um, because all the CEOs work together. Now you had a uh, confirmation, uh, confrontation, right? Yes, that's what you want. Yes, a confrontation. We 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 talked after okay. I. Who did you have a confrontation? Um, Colonel McCrary sitting right there. Could you um, objection, Your Honor? Um, I would like to also. Uh, there was a one single photo lineup, which he seen my picture prior to this exam. It was a photo lineup single. 
And this is how, you know what I mean? He's my brother, truth. There's a procedure on the due process. Oh, okay. Yes, I would like I mean, I'm good, but I would like to object because there were some suggested photo line of views. And if you look at this discovery, it said that a single photo was shown to Mr. McCurry. And this violates uh, what is the United States versus Wade, I believe it is. It would be Wade. However, Mr. McCurry, that's why it's very delicate to your represent yourself. You just stated that he's your brother. I mean, but it's so, still a procedure, Your Honor. It has to be followed. I mean, this is one of the most easiest identities cases if he knows you as your brother he can identify you from that day but it's still it's suggested it's violation of law we're not even getting to the line at this point well i'll place my objection i hear you uh so mr so i'll keep continuing with your question could you describe a piece of clothing that uh, the gentleman uh, he has a blue jean jacket that i have come on you know there's a lot of record reflect that uh, Witness has identified the defendant. It's not reflected. What <clears throat> at this address uh, you arrived at it, you had a confrontation. Did you go more into that? Well, I um prior to um seeing um my brother Carnell, um I had went into the house the day before on the eighth and um the downstairs door, which is the part that I had, um, was kicked in and damaged. So, um, and then I went into the back room, and the uh, another second door was kicked in and damaged. <laughs> oh, Jackson, Your Honor, he just committed perjury. The first door is not kicked in; it speaks up. Sir. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know I had to say it. I'm sorry. What you're doing is you're testifying as to what happened. All you can do in this case, if you're saying that he's not telling the truth, is mm -hmm. on cross examination, okay. you have the opportunity right. to question him and possibly raise issues of credibility. But that at this time, you're testifying as to what happened and not objection regarding the rules of evidence. Okay? Every objection has been placed. I understand this, man. Uh, and if I may finish, though, and upon um, going into the kitchen, oh, oh, oh. Second. Um, describe this house. Is it like is it an apartment? It's a in, it's an income bungalow. So it's an upstairs and a downstairs, and they're separate, and they both have separate utilities. And the downstairs is the part of the dome, so that you know I was um, having you know I I I, I became executor of the estate. So you know, I, I kept this. I kept the um, the house so that my other siblings, including him, could could stay there. Okay. So I came downstairs. Okay, no, who are you so when I came downstairs, just so the the record's clear, whose estate are you talking about? Um, my um, deceased mother's okay. estate, Mamie McCreary. Who lived up? Did someone live over in the house? Uh, uh, Colonel McCreary stayed upstairs after he was released um, from, uh, from prison. Okay. So uh, you came in and there was damage? Yes, there was damage to the, 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 the front door, the kitchen door, and a bedroom door. Okay. What happened? Okay, so I, yeah, so I didn't have I didn't have a camera with me at that time to take pictures. Of the uh, of the damaged property, um, so I came back on the night, and then once I came back on the night, I took pictures of the damages that that were you know incurred in, in the house. What after you took the pictures? What did you do next? I I I left the house and then I went next door to one of our neighbors who was she had she had fell sick and she had a pacemaker, so you know she grew up. You know, we grew up with her. She's like a mother. Okay. So I went next door, you know, visited her. And then upon leaving, uh, when I was coming out, okay. my brother was coming. Okay. You were coming out of the neighbor's house. Where was your brother coming out? He was coming out of the 1470 home. Okay. And that's where he lives. Correct. He lives in the, the income bungalow upstairs. Okay. 
What happened when you got it? When you uh, got he confronted me and, you know, I told him, I said, so is this how you want to do our mother's house? And he was, you know, he started talking about taxes, which he, he hasn't paid, uh, you know. So, and then I was like, you know, man, I tried to ignore him. So he's like, you didn't want to, so you going to go to the police on me and all this kind of stuff. So, and, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm going to the police. And he's like, well, somebody's going to die today, me, you, or the police. So, and then I ignored him and I went to the, 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 my automobile. Okay. And I was about to get into an automobile. He picked up. When you, when you got into your, your automobile, what happened next? He picked the brick up and hit the car with the brick. Okay. So I jumped out of the automobile and, you know, ran after him and he ran. So, you know, I was like, man. Okay. Where, where did the, he run? He ran up on the, the porch of 1470 down. Okay. You said time, Your Honor. When, when he ran up, what did you, when he's on the porch, what did you do? I went, I went, you know, I ignored him and went back to the car because I was going to go to the police. Okay. So when you went back to your car, what happened then? He, he picked the brick up again and hit the car again. So now this time, I um, ran after him again and he ran up onto the porch, opened the door, and then came outside with a, with a, auto, a semi um, automatic weapon. Okay. And fired into the into the air twice. Okay. Uh, he fired it twice. Yes. And then what did he do? And then did he. Say, I'm sorry. Did you say into the air? Yes. Into the air twice. And then he looked at me in the eyes and then pointed the the weapon at me and shot in my direction. And you okay. know. When he shot in your direction, where did the bullet go? You know, it, it's a field right across the street from the house, so I can't say where it went, but it went in that direction towards the field. Well, when did that do it, you? It, 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 I was, I was, I was, I was. First of all, I was upset that my brother would do something of that nature. Then, you know, I kind of feared for my life, so I jumped into the vehicle and and drove off. And you said the weapon was uh, what type of weapon again? It, it looks like a, it was a rifle, it was a black, it could have been a, an AK. An AK. Okay. Uh, but you're not sure, right? No, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, and after you got your card? I was, I was really upset, you know, I went directly to the, the, um, the precinct and I filed a report. Okay. And, um, I have nothing further for this week. Second time, Your Honor. Yes, I mean, um, I was just referring to the end of the you know, you are bound by the rules of the If a prosecutor objects, can you need any help with it? Does it wash the kids there? Um, how are you doing there, Norman? McCrary? I'm here. You all right today? Okay. Um, let me direct you. You stated that I shot in the air. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Isn't it also correct that you said I shot in the ground as well? I didn't see you shooting the ground. Well, no, I'm just saying, is it is it just no? Did you say I shot in the ground? I didn't see you shooting at the ground. That's all okay. that's Your Honor, I, yes or no? I would like to reflect for the record that at another proceeding, the prosecutor stated that he said that I shot in the ground. Shot the air and shot him three stories. Okay. Um, Your Honor, A, I don't recall that. And well, this is had to go by testimony of the witness. That's what we're here for. Well, you were disposed of the court. So. You were representing the people. Okay, that's yes, right. Okay. Um, you spoke about a probate issue. Am I correct that you were the executive, sir? Yes, I did. Okay. Isn't it true? Have you ever committed perjury? Or have you ever committed forgery or anything that nature? Oh, your honor, you just lied. Here's the paperwork, uh, this impeachment with um, isn't it true that you forged uh, my name? What, what does this have to do with well, well, it's impeachment, sir? This impeachment, sir, people versus Sandway laws, the rules of evidence. Isn't it true that you forged my name, David McCurry? I mean, excuse me, Norman McCurry, Paul McCurry, James McCurry, and Charles? McCurry? That is not true. 
Okay, I have affidavits from him notarized where Chief uh, he stated that the brothers gave him permission to uh, sign individuals' names, and the judge issued a show cause hearing. Give me a second. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Um, here's an affidavit I would like to uh, get a copy of to the prosecutor's office. It's signed and notarized by Norman McCreary. And this is allowed for impeachment purposes. He just committed perjury, understand, Judge. And on page two, Norman said that the other brothers, Charles, James, and Paul McCreary, agreed to getting the loan, the signing of their names. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. you uh, I'd like to give it to your witness and see it too. He just lied and those, sir. And it's signed and notarized by him in a probate, Wayne County probate proceeding. That was ordered by the judge. It was not, and I had to follow the judge. Okay, made a purge. And I have an affidavit from my brother on the phone, too, that he didn't give him permission as well. I'd like to have that's what I was saying about witnesses being called. Judge. Okay, thank you. 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 Perjury, and not only that, but it's forgery. Oh, it looks like it was the free one time. In order the court rule, in order to be impeached, it has to be conviction. Therefore, I'm going to object to this line of questioning unless the defendant can show that the witness was actually convicted. Where is that case law? Show me the authority by that. Uh, that's why the court rule. The Michigan rules of evidence Judge, allow for he just lied under oath, and he lied under oath in the court rule. Of course, you don't like this. Let me finish addressing the objection under the Michigan rules of evidence to attack someone's credibility and to impeach them. You have to do it under whether or not the witness has been convicted of a crime involving dishonesty false statement or theft. If there's no proof of a conviction, I'm not sure how you plan on proving that with an affidavit that has not been verified by anyone, no court other than an affidavit signed by another person who's not here to testify. This is, this is affidavit. This is what I'm saying. It's signed and override. Right, and then I was also previously I have transcripts where I piece police officers in Wayne County from complaints about them and the judge allowed me. I just asked him, was he, did he ever forge anybody's name or whatever else? He said no. And he said no. And the affidavit shows that he, he said my other brothers agreed. I have affidavits from Charles McCurry and other people that say they didn't give him permission. This is a felony. This is a crime, Judge. How can you allow That's this true. gentleman to come in here? You, and, this is you have to file a police report for that crime. I tried to. Well, I can't. I they ignore they, they, They've been addicted to second prosecution. Mr. McCurry, I'm, I'm, I'm not allowing you to present an affidavit. There's no conviction of the three things this honestly falls Okay, can you show me the rule of evidence where that is? It said about convictions. Because other courts, I remember, I can't think of the chief judge from 99. He was here. He allowed Yes, Cabris P. Harper was my attorney at the time. There was a, 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 a deputy sheriff named Clifford Dean. And we asked for additional discovery to impeach him. And the mm -hmm. judge allowed it at the time. I have this document at, at home as well. This is for purposes of impeachment. He just lied and said he never forged nobody's signature. And that doesn't equate to conviction or not. I have affidavits saying that, yes, he forged my signature, he committed felonies, and he did what he did. And this is his affidavit of truth. Saying that he committed felonies? It shows that he said- Yes, sir, no. Does it say he committed yeah. felonies? Yeah, right here. It says that they, that Charles and them agreed for him to sign their names. My it's brother has an affidavit saying, saying that he committed. did. That's not saying I committed felonies. Forgery is a felony. Judge. I know it. So Identity is lying, death. So is shooting. And people, perjury. So telling people you're going to kill them. So is murder. There are a lot of crimes. So that that's discrimination on your part. Because you're allowing me to say. proven or established, then what do you expect me to do? Well, I have the affidavit showing this contradicting what he's saying. Okay. Her my witness. Well, well, the Charles McCreary. And I would like to admit that in the evidence as well. Because he's saying that he didn't force these people's names, and my other brother's saying that he did. Well, and this will first. Michigan rules of evidence. And can you give me a rule? 609. Okay. 609. Go here. You just lied on the this time. And Marie, 609. 
for purposes of attacking the credibility of a witness, evidence that the witness has been convicted of a crime shall not be admitted unless the evidence has been elicited from the witness or established by the public okay. record finished during cross-examination and the crime contained an element of dishonesty or false statement or the crime contained an element of theft and the crime was punishable by imprisonment in excess of one year or death under the law under which the witness was convicted. So the issue here is that there was no conviction. So okay. I'm not admitting that evidence. Can I, can I move on to the next question? Can I uh, get you uh, speak about the rule? I'm denying up that you can say that you uh, disagree and object to my sustaining the objection. Yes, I, I, I do object. And this goes also, uh, again, I would like to renew my motion to recuse on the people versus Crampton, Michigan Department of State, Crampton versus Michigan Department of State, Kane versus the MBLC, because this court is being biased and there's previous proceedings where the court allowed these kind of things. Yes, uh, under, uh, under, in this court in, in I think 99. You can do that. Well, he, what I'm saying is I asked him a question. He said, no, I have evidence to show he did. I have evidence under the rules of evidence 609 that allow for you to establish that. Next question, Mr. McCray. Okay, mm -hmm. now here you just spoke on the rule and I would like to uh, argue the rule. It says unless listed, I solicited it from him and then dealt with that for the science crime. And this court, I feel, is being biased toward the prosecutor. You're sounding like a broken record. I heard you already. All right. Good night. Okay. Um, can I continue? And I object again. Please. Uh, Mr. McCurry, isn't it true that you consider yourself a sovereign citizen? Does that have to do with this case? Um, well, it's relevant. It's relevant. Go yeah. for yeah. credibility I, impeachments. Uh, I, I object to the relevancy of it goes to the credibility of the witness and to test his credibility. So stop right People versus stop. Stop. People Mr. versus Mr. Stop. Curry, I don't, the case law, you can stop right now. Rules of evidence. How is this relevant to the case here today, whether he's a sovereign citizen? And don't say anything about dishonesty, because you are too. And you've established I'm being dishonest. I said, don't say that it's about dishonesty. Because you stated that you're a sovereign as well. I mean, yeah, I agree. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the straw man. A sovereign today I'm, not the, a I'm not the straw man. What I'm saying is. Answer the question. How is it relevant that he's a sovereign citizen? Because he's the same person that fights you guys. In court, he's issuing. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm indigenous to this land. So you should answer. Both of you all. I would like to in a minute. You know, in this exam, there's gonna be some contempt here. You all don't stop. I don't care if he's a sovereign citizen or not. That has nothing to do with the case here today. So I don't find it to be relevant. So next question. So you stated that I, I shot in the ear. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. You also stated that I shot at you as well. Yes. Okay. Is there any witnesses to this? And what time was this about? Well, the I can't remember this young man's name, but he him and his mother was outside. Okay. Okay. So what time was this? About? I, I can't remember. Can't recall. Does the people have this information, Judge? If he doesn't know the time that this occurred, because on this day I was at work. It was, it was I was at work, work and it was, it was around probably after five. You just said you didn't know, Mr. Brown. I said I don't remember that, but okay. if I try to okay. recollect, then I would say it, I get off work at 4.30, so it had to be okay. back to 5. Okay. Are you familiar? Uh, do you recall that I worked at no Park? I don't know. I didn't know where you were. You barely okay. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, for your birthday, didn't I get you two bottles of rosé? Birthday, and I told you about it. Well, no, I'm trying to establish that he knows that I where I worked at. This is what this is. I knew that you had got a job, but yes, you did. Okay. Yes, you did. To the McCurries, and there's an objection on the floor. Everyone has to stop talking. Thank you. For a couple of reasons, the court reporter, you are torturing her right now because she cannot take down anything when everyone's talking. So please, one at a time, there's an objection on either side. Stop talking. So there's an objection. What is your objection? Relevancy. What is the relevance of the two bottles? Well, to, to establish that he knew where I worked at. 
so that I can let it be known that I was at work during this time that he claims whatever this stuff is going on. Okay, even if he doesn't know where he works on that day and time. Okay, that's what I'm saying. It's not relevant to the day and time in which you were at work. Well, the time of the crime that he stated. So, I mean, if, how do you not know what time of crime was you You're saying the day, but what time? What time was you at work? Where you worked for the time. Well, after five. It had to be after five because he worked until four seconds. He doesn't know the exact time. Is that my understanding of what he said? Is that correct? Well, I worked after those. Is that correct? He said after five because he gets no work at 430. Not sure what time, but somewhere after 430, after five. Is that correct? I mean, this is what he stated. That's all I want you to say. We all agree on what was said. Okay, so he doesn't know the exact time. I understand. Next question is. How is the two bottles of rose relevant to the day? Of well, the, event? the reason that I stated that just is because he knew where I was. I was telling him about how cheap things were there with my for the discount. So he just stated he didn't know where I work, but he knows where I work. Okay. Because I gave him two so, articles from the job for his birthday. Okay. And then uh, I have witnesses uh, that I would like to call in Robert Van Diner, uh, okay. Gerald Flowers, and other time. people. Yes, because Mr. McCreary uh, was paid money. This is why Mr. he's... Okay. Mr. Right, so he, okay. McCreary. Um, Mr. McCreary, isn't it true that you allowed Mr. Robert Van Diner and Gerald Flowers to rent the downstairs at some point? I'm going to object to relevancy. Well, I'm trying to establish uh, 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 that Mr. McCreary is committing crimes, past and present. This is what this is about for purposes of impeachment. No, for impeachment, you have, I, I read the rule, 609. Unless you have some other route, you ask some questions about. Well, the thing is, he's stealing money. If you look at the, the tax, like the tax is still in my mind. And guess saying, what? Even if years, he was stealing money, it wouldn't be relevant today during this testimony. So he can steal from me, and that's not, it's okay. Oh, and other please. people, it's okay. No, it's not okay. And I've, I've made reports, and the 10th precinct is retaliating because I've made reports against their officials down here for failure to protect. You are the, muddying the water, not staying focused on what has been charged on this case. Well, I'm being, I'm being denied my rights. This is what I'm talking about. So I have one to sustain the objection. It's not relevant. Okay, isn't it isn't it true, uh, Norman McCurry, that uh, the taxes Mandy McCurry are still in her name after 20 years of the NC, sir? Yeah. No, it's no. this this your witnesses committed felonies and you're committing felonies with you and Kim work. Okay. And there is document. I'm just this purpose it's, of it. It's just as, uh, well, the purpose of it. Okay. Um, may I ask you a question? How did you come to uh, work uh, to here to court? Students? Uh, how did you get here? Did you drive or were you brought? Objection, you know, relevancy. Relevancy is Mr. McCurry is driving, he has no license. Okay, he's are you just trying to tell on him for everything? No, I'm he a does teacher, all day? he's breaking laws, but I'm being accused. I'm innocent. Okay, I'm innocent. It's still not relevant to the allegations and to what he testified to on direct examination. Well, if I may respond, the relevancy is that Kim Worthy has executed things against police officers, but the witnesses are being allowed to commit perjury and get on the stand. It's violates the officer's right, equal protection clause of the 14th Amendment. Because if officers have testified or lied and they weren't convicted, what does the officer have to do with anything right now? Well, this is the witness. He's not an officer. He's a witness, though. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's not the same. This is a very specific case. We have specific testimony. I don't care if he has a license or not. So sustained. Well, what I'm saying is, I don't care if he has a license or not. Well, the police and him, they're being allowed to commit felonies, but I'm here to be accused. And this you is I'm trying to establish. You're not being accused. You have Okay, I'm being accused. I'm having been accused. Yes, yes. and sense. there's no evidence. Uh, Mr. McCurry, uh, can I ask you a question? Did you know that there is no evidence in this case? Objection. Why? How no, would he, how would he, he's not an officer. Well, I'm just saying and there's he, no evidence. And actually, there is evidence. <laughs> Where is this here? Your Honor, his testimony is evidence. That's not evidence, evidence. evidence under the Office of United States. Under the Michigan Rules of Evidence, testimony is evidence. Okay. Next question. Okay, may I object under the Office of United States? The testimony without cooperative evidence is not evidence. Yes. Jackson so versus Virginia. That Wait. is incorrect. Next question. Um, I, I just say I'm being lynched today. 
by this court as well as my brother. Is this your closing argument? Because you can say that. Well, I mean, you won't let me bring nothing in. You're shooting down everything that I've brought in because of judicial bias. Other courts have called it relevant. The court rules of evidence under the Michigan court rules of evidence. So I'm not lynching you. I'm denying you certain things that you're doing because it's not applicable and okay. proper in the court. All right, now may I respond to the rules of evidence uh, statement? No, you can ask the next question that's relevant to the exam you're saying. Well, I mean, I can't ask everything. You can shoot down everything I bring to judge. And I you don't have any more questions on Frost, then you can say no more questions. You have a seat. You don't have anything I'm that's relevant to the direct, test, the direct evidence that was provided or the, the testimony on direct. Well, may I address something that you stated, Judge, if I may? Question to Louis. I mean, I, I'm just, I just yield because I'm being denied my rights and I object to this whole proceeding because I'm denied to present evidence to call witnesses on my behalf. No, you haven't been denied. To properly cross-examine the, to to cross -examine the witness. And then they're charged me with strangulation. It says injuries. No, this man is not hurt. He hasn't been shot. They got weapons and strangulation. I do all this for women. It's that wrong. Okay. This is what I'm trying to understand. Yes, it's in here. It says four by strangulation. Okay. Well, the, what the first part? Assault with intent to great bodily harm. Okay, assault with intent to great bodily harm. He has not been hit. He hasn't been hurt. He hasn't been anything happened no. to him. Where's the bedroom? So, let's get to that in the uh, argument. Okay. Um, you, you'll learn the elements. I mean, I, I, I just object and I rest and I'll leave it to the uh, circuit court as well. You can't well as, rest. You haven't even had an opportunity well, I'm to present saying witness. because Do you have any more questions of the witness? I mean, I'm being denied my right yes, to properly cross examine. No, do you have any more questions of the witness? Oh, uh, no, because I'm denied the okay. right to properly cross examine. Any redirect? No redirect. No redirect, Your Honor. People have no further questions. Do you have any witnesses? Um, I would. Um, Okay. I would um, like to call the chief officer that's the investigator on this case, and I also object to him not calling any other witnesses at this juncture because there's a witness list. And I would like all witnesses to be brought here so that I may properly examine and cross examine these uh, witnesses because they um, they don't have a warrant judge. Like after we had the hearing when he attested to court, I just had 15 pages. This is all that we have. Where's the warrant judge? How am I charged? Where are magistrates' signature? So, as far as this is the probable cause here, this about, is not, not, let me finish. This is not trial. Okay. So the people do not have to present anything but what is going to show probable cause, not beyond a reasonable doubt. So if they want to call one witness, they can. You want to call the officer in charge of the case? Well, can I call, call can I call all the police that, that 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 are on the list? Since he's not calling. You need to offer a proof. Pardon? Offer of proof as to why you need to call them. Well, because they're investigation. <clears throat> this is what I want to question them as to their investigation. How now the law is. I cannot be uh, tried for a crime that I haven't been charged with. There has to be a complaint, warrant, and a request for warrant. And there's not anything here. How was I even charged, Judge? And there's no warrant. Okay. So, and of the 15 pages, I looked, and that's a violation of the Fourth Amendment to the so, U.S. Constitution, Judge. Uh, you said you wanted to call the officer in charge? Yes, yeah, so it's the officer in charge. Okay. And uh, the other officer. Now, that, that I will allow for the officer in charge because he's here, correct, Mr. Milwaukee? Correct. Okay. For the rest of them, you did not subpoena or bring one today. Well, oh, I didn't know he was not going to put them on here. They're it's on the not list. his job to call your witnesses. No, what I'm saying is they're on his list as witnesses. And I would like to basically so get the court to have a witness list for the exam. This is in, a witness in discovery and investigation report, I believe, is that what you're referring to? Yeah, right here, the prosecutor's office witness list. I have a right to this. Okay, so you, like have, you have a right to interview them and subpoena them to come to court. Well, and to you establish. you ask the people to make them available to interview also before. Yeah, I understand. Okay, today we're here. Going to 6.10, it says I have a right to examine, cross examine the witnesses of the prosecutor as well as myself. You do. And they had an investigation. I would like the court to have a clear understanding so these charges can or cannot be established properly. 
under the due process. I will allow you to call any witnesses that you have subpoenaed and that are here today, as well as the people's witness who is officer in charge on this case. Will call. Man, call that no, yes. but may I object to the court's uh, denial of uh, my Sixth Amendment right to call witnesses in the uh, household in the MCR 6.14 because to establish uh, a proper investigation, this court to be full aware of what is going on with this case and, and evidence concerning this case. I mean, these officers have to be brought forward so that we can ask them how they did the investigation. I, I uh, believe that is a matter that you may. If it is bound over, you can address that trial. There were several motions. The probable cause hearing is very, very minimal. Well, I mean, uh, the rules are clear. And uh, under due process, they don't the statute of due clear process. You still talking. Well, may I address the court? I mean, you give him the full uh, 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 rights to speak, but I'm always cut off. Well, it's because That's... you're saying things that really aren't relevant. So the officer in charge is here. Do you want to call that person to stand? I definitely will. Step up for the court reporter, give her your name and spelling. Yes, you're right. Whenever you're ready, Mr. McCurry. Can you give me your name? I'm here. Can you give me your name and badge numbers for the record, sir? Officer Edward Pulowski-4753. You say Pulowski. Okay, yes. so you're the officer in charge, detective. Yes. Okay. Um, on the, the day in question, what time did Norman McCurry come into your station to make the report? If I'm here. Well, I don't know the exact time to see it. Right after the incident. Right after the incident. So you didn't take the uh, initiative to write down what time he came in here? Uh, he came into your office? Your Honor, I'm going to. Check the foundation it hasn't been established that this witness actually took the report from the witness. Uh, okay, so where's that? Let's clarify, clarify that. Okay, I would like lay, to lay a little bit of foundation. As well, if he's, he, involved if he's is, the head officer, okay, okay. So lay a little foundation, which means ask questions about his involvement to get to I the fact that you're questioning whether he knew what time. Okay. I understand. Right. Okay, did you, um, are you the only one that had contact with this No. Okay. Um, may you tell me whom had who Mr. McCurry started having contact with uh, in the beginning? The officer Clannon who was working the desk. Officer, officer Clannon. Clannon? Clannon. Oh, Clannon. Okay. Clannon. Clannon. Okay. Um, so you took the report of Officer Clannon too? Officer Clannon took the report. Okay. Um, and this is the report that's in this file that I may, uh, this this report, report here, sir? You want to? I mean, I'm just asking if this report that the officer took. That's not a report, so that is a written statement. A oh, written statement? Yes. Well, it says in the interview, like, if questions are asked, and then the officer is, is, is writing questions, then he's writing the answers. I'm going to check because it hasn't been established that this witness has taken that. Well, he's the chief uh, uh, officer in charge of the state, so everything falls on him, just like you're supporting the Kim Work, sir. How old? Everything you do is falls so, on her. Well, what are you trying to establish? Well, I'm trying to establish time, place, and things of that nature. I mean, there is allegations. Let's take the, the very specific question you're trying to establish with this statement. What? Well, I'm trying to establish a time frame. When did he come into the office? When did he speak? Okay. Who did he speak with? What time uh, reports were made? You know, to clarify everything that's normal query state. Okay. So I'm trying to lay a foundation uh, as to this investigation. Okay, and that's not the document that the witness has prepared for us to worry with because if, if he didn't prepare that, mm -hmm. then you can't present that and have to tell him to refresh his memory or recollection. About well, it. well, no, I was just asking what time did Norman come in to okay. make a report? And your response was you weren't sure. You say you don't know, so. Yes, I mean, this is one of probably 300 cases I've had since then. I, I don't remember the time of every case that I had. It's all in the reports, which is public record. Okay. So well, do you have the report? Well, talking about for, for this, this report here, yes. The, the, the witness just stated that he's not sure what time, but it's in the report. Do you have that report that he's referring to? 
It says, I can't understand this reading. I mean, can you understand this? this? this I mean, five, it says end time. Don't read to me. On, oh, it says the start time is five. It's a query. Can yeah. I read to me what's in the document? Do you uh -huh. have it? I have a police report. Can you read that? Yeah, okay. Can you read to me what's in the document? Do you have it? I have a police report. Yes. Okay. He still has a statement. It's written and it's a statement. The report is all time. Well, it's, this was taken on the 10th, right? The day after the fact that I was. You have your report or your investigative report? It's, it's all in the, in the jacket. There's an investigative report, there's the police reports, there's, there's everything, the warrant. I don't have a warrant. Where? It's not in here, Judge. He said he gave me 15 pages and he attested this is all he had and asked to see it. There's no warrant here. There's no authorization from the prosecutor here. And then if he pulls anything else out, that's a Brady violation. You may have it. It's not here. You don't leave it on your body. Show you. What I have. That was in the packet, discovery packet, is the Detroit police request for a warrant, uh, investigators report. It starts on page three and appears to go through page six. Uh, <laughs> and this is even signed by the prosecutor. Where they recommend or deny a, 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 a warrant request. This is not even signed. It's not notarized. These documents are not. Okay, let's we'll stick to. Do you want to uh, yes. present the, that report to refresh well, your recollection about the time? Well, no, I was asking him. But that was a line question. No, that that right. was not where I was trying to go. Where I was trying to go I was asking him to get a basis. He stated that Mr. McCurry, my brother, came into the police department and made a report. Yeah. This report showed that he gave a statement on the 10th, so how it happened on the 9th. He said he went in there on the 9th, and this is written on the 10th. That would be the day after. Whoa. This is you testifying, first of all. There's been no testimony that okay. anyone came on the 10th. Person. Okay, well, look, I'm just saying he's objecting to everything, and I have foundation and the right to ask these questions. Just ask about the 10th. Okay. Okay, so you stated that you're the, the chief officer in charge of this case, I'm correct. I'm the officer in charge of this. So you just stated under oath that you didn't know what time that Mr. McCurry came to the police uh, precinct to make a complaint. Am Not I correct? Exact time, no, sir. Okay. Um, here, um, I would like to uh, teach him. Uh, um, did you guys seek a warrant from Kim Worthy's office on this day in question or at any time? I don't remember what date I sent it exactly, but I guess we sent the contract back over to the prosecutor's office. Okay. Um, at your, uh, uh, what's the word? I'm at your direction, did you order your officers to arrest me on the date in question, which when I was brought in for this case? I didn't tell them exactly what day to arrest you. Once we were doing any kind of felony case, I gave them a special operations unit who works out the 10th precinct. I don't know if there's probable cause to arrest somebody. If they come across somebody, okay. they'll lock them up in that case. Yes. Okay. Was there a warrant, sir? Not at that time. No. Oh, is there a warrant now? There should be in your report. No, sir. Um, right here, Judge, I would like to admit the evidence where right here, this is the uh, Wayne County Prosecutor recommendation. It's blank. It's blank. Now, my paperwork is supposed to be the same as his. Your Honor, it is blank. Um, the only thing that's different is that it's been redacted with the witness's address between his and ours. And that's perfectly legal, and that's to protect the witness, unless there's a special. You tell about the warrant, sir. Not for protection. I'm explaining what's why the difference. I'm not a principal. So. Um, it's the last page of the investigator's report that's not going to be an actual warrant that's set in with every investigator's report. Well, the authorized warrant is going to be black and white with all the charges. Okay, can I actually a warrant? Where? So th there is an information. The, uh, the objection that's not signed, notarized, or approved by court, uh, the court rule. And that would be a motion that you can address if it is found regarding the warrant. Right. Well, I'm, I'm, I would like to continue my, my cross examine if I may, Judge. Please, please, please. Um, uh, how long have you been an officer of? Uh, officer Pulowski, you say it is? Yes. In Detroit, over like seven years. Over seven years. Oh, you've been a police officer in another city? Right. Uh, may I ask where? Uh, city of Westland. City of Westland. And you say you've been in Detroit how long now? Seven years. Are you familiar with the strictures of the Fourth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, Article 1, Section 11 of the Michigan Constitution, sir? 
Well, but he's supposed to be a law enforcement officer. How are you going to be a law enforcement officer? Yeah, I know about the enforcement. Okay. Um, again, was there a warrant when you arrested me? I did not arrest you. Well, your officers, you should know what your officers are doing. Notice the agents, notice the principal. Question. Notice the principal notice the question. Okay, did your officers have a warrant when they arrested you? No. Judge, I move for dismissal at this juncture because there's nothing authorized by the prosecutor or uh, anyone else. And he just stated he arrested me without a warrant. This is a crime. Now, I, I would like to state this. In 2001, uh, okay. the Department of Justice indicted DPD for dragging that arrest. Okay. And this violation. So I'm denying that request. You can be arrested okay. without a warrant. Can you show me the law where that is? No, it's not my job to show you that. Okay, well, I'm saying under federal case law and state case law under Article 111 of Michigan Constitution of 1963. As well as U.S. Constitutional Amendment uh, Four, enforced upon us, United, I mean, states, they have to have a warrant, Judge. Seventy-two hours. Um, seventy-two hours. Charged. Well, at some point, I don't know, mm -hmm. but that's once again outside of the purview of this exam. Well, and they are committing so, felonies, Judge. This is the okay, question. And, and I am not the police department. Okay. I'm not the FBI. May I I'm not the okay. Department of Justice. Okay. Okay. Charges here today are assault with intent to murder, assault with intent to break bodily harm, less than murder, or by strangulation, weapon, firearm, possession by a felon, weapon, ammunition, possession by a felon, assault with a dangerous weapon, only use assault, and also four counts of weapons and firearm. Okay. Um, let me Okay, do you have any video evidence of when Mr. McCreary came into the station, like body cams, which are mandated by law, so far as the desk officer, or you give the interview, are these articles available? Uh, there is no body cam on the front desk, it was all recorded at the station. Okay, within the station, why is it, uh, uh, why, why have you put this, if that evidence into the discovery so that the people could have it? Uh, if that is requested from inside the station, it can be put in there, yes. Okay. Um, I'm looking for this page. Okay. May I take you to, I believe it's page six, Detroit Police Request for Warrant before you was off the sir? I don't think anything I'm just stated anything I'm don't have anything. Okay. Uh, can I get the court officer to hand this to the gentleman so I may question him about this uh, discovery investigation? Okay. <laughs> I would like that back, but I would like to ask him a question when it concerns that. Uh, so, you want it back, or do you want him? No, I want him to look at it and I want to question him about it. But once he's done with, you know, I'm going to get questioned him. I would like that back. Pay, pay for back. That's all. Okay. okay. Okay, you see the part right there where it says evidence officer. Can you tell me what that says? None. None. So how did you move forward if there was no evidence? Uh, you what it is oh, okay. Um, that's the. Um, can you read that for the record, sir? At the top of the page. Well, actually, you have to ask some questions. Oh, okay. Like, oh. Um, can I see yours, Mr. Prosecutor? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay, you have your uh, hand. What's called a uh, Detroit Police. Request for a warrant, am I correct? Correct. Okay, on uh, the top part it says admissions and confessions. What does it say? None. Okay, lineups. What does it say? A single photo lineup showing Mr. McCreary. Okay, evidence. None. Okay, and then you have the witnesses, then it says video. Can you tell me what that says, sir? Body worn camera footage not available due to the report being taken at the desk. Okay, and photo. None. Okay. So is this typically how the 10th precinct operates? No warrants, no evidence. They prosecute individual citizens. Is this how this happens, sir? So when I submit one of these, that's a question, sir. I'm asking the question. Yes, this yes, is typically no. what ours looks like when we send it in. No, what I'm saying is this the procedure or the custom that your your agency use, uses when they uh, prosecute citizens. So far as no evidence, no warrants. I'm saying is this a, a policy or a custom with your department? 10th precinct, sir. 
what policy just? You know what I'm saying? That the operating of procedures so far as handling of investigations, prosecuting citizens when they're accused of crime. Is this how you typically handle cases with no evidence, no warrants? You go get people. I mean, is this typically how your department runs? Every case is different, sir. Okay. Um, have you done this in your past history in Warren as well as Detroit, Michigan? Have you, do you have a history of this, sir? Of sending it down warrants? Yes, I have a history of Without it. evidence and, and, and without uh, arresting people without warrants. This is what I'm saying. Do you have a history of arresting people without warrants or evidence, sir? This is the question. I'm going to object because he's not so, let him finish the objection. He's already, the witness has already testified that he did not arrest him or have a warrant at the time. But what I was, just what I'm trying to establish. You're trying to establish way more than well, was needed for this exam. Well, this well, is a whole a holistic type of approach you're trying to have here with the police department, the unworthy, the bench. I understand that. But as far as this case, if right. you're not getting to specifics about what he did, he's not even seem to be that involved into what well, happened. what I'm saying is that as of right now, you had a chief judge that just heard my motion to deny me because they're your supervisor. He's the supervisor of these officers. They move at his direction. If he does, they don't move at his direction. That means they're vigilantes, judge. They're just doing what they want. In your opinion. I mean, so what is your next question? Well, my question is, does he have a history of arresting and charging innocent citizens without warrants and without evidence. Mm -hmm. And I know I have. Answer. No. Next okay, question. I would like, okay, now to establish that he's telling the truth, I would like to file a motion for the district discovery on the MCR 6.201, which allows this to his background history of complaints for false arrests or things of that nature. And I have transcripts before where this has already been approved in other court proceedings. And I would like to. At this juncture, uh, subpoena his background history as to Warren as well as to Detroit because if he does, if he if he has done this today to me, he has done this to me. And I would like the procedural and the substantive due process protection in this proceeding and the equal protection of the law of the Fourteenth Amendment. Judge, I'm denying that request. I know you like to object. Please object. Judge, I mean, okay, right. now, like I already placed my objection. I mean, deny my rights to a fair trial. Okay. It's not a trial. That's I mean, not my trial. Well, this this is a hearing. Exactly. What I'm still entitled to my rights in the hearing. Hearing. It's not guaranteed by the Constitution. It's a statutory right. Well, if there's a federal right, we have two different things. All respect to court. And I'm sure mine is right when it comes to whether or not you have a constitutional right to an exam or whether it's statutory. Okay. All right, I'm ready with my other question. Okay, um, so are you uh, familiar with the law in Michigan so far as state statutes, state laws, and things of that nature? Do you have some form of, uh, did you receive uh, some form of legal training when it concerned your job you went to the academy back in the day? Yes. Okay. Did you know under uh, MCL 750.505, this kind of office that that is a five year felony that you have committed against me, sir, based on lack of evidence, no warrant, sir? I'm going to object. Well, the objection is not founded. Let him have his report, but I don't know what his objection is. Relevancy, defendants testifying, he's accusing of crimes. Argumentative. Argumentative. I know. So, so the question just doesn't make sense. Can I respond, please? Sure. I mean, it goes for purposes of impeachment. And then, uh, like I was saying, Kwame Kilpatrick was sent to prison for the same thing that he's doing. And I mean, he was now, the mayor. You're not about to commit okay. anything yes, to mention Kwame Kilpatrick's participation. So, all right. Well, I mean, can you answer my question? I mean, if he's a law enforcement officer, he should have no problem with asking a question. Well, it's not relevant. Well, it's relevant because he's, he's committed a felony to. That, and that's an accusation. This has not been presented to the court in any matter of the you telling him that he committed Well, can I? Um, uh, uh, again, as this court on the MCR 6.201 Brady versus Maryland, uh, requests his background history for purposes of impeachment at People versus Stanaway, which allows 
more discovery? Yes, I would like to uh, have more discovery so far as impeachment, impeaching this witness because. Well, I'm just saying is I need it for purposes of the exam under MCR 6.110. To properly uh, cross examine. Ongoing, ongoing. Well, so today, exam is, we're in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a time to be prepared for this day. If it gets bound over, I will find a discovery order if you can request. Well, under, okay? yes, under People versus State, again, I say that citation I don't have today here in court with Judge Rose dismissed a case against the prosecutor as a sanction for withholding evidence. <laughs> He knew that his witnesses would be here. Then he doesn't argue that you can you can discuss this during the argument once you're out. So he's not allowed to answer the question that I asked him so far. No, so. No, okay. okay. Um, are you familiar with Mr. McCurry, your, your department, the 10th precinct at all? Have you ever had any knowledge of him coming to your department or complaining about your department or anything to that nature? Uh, for this case, I never had any contact with him. Okay, are you familiar with the Sergeant Ball that worked at your organization? Yes. Okay. Um, Wait one second, sir. Is it the one that's retired or the Sergeant Ball? He's retired. Okay, because there's yeah. two balls there. Two the sergeants yeah. at some point. I just want to make sure I have the right one. Yes. Okay. Okay, so you um, you did your investigation. How did you come about now to pray beside with your brother? How did you know how uh, Mr. Perry looked me? Um, what information did you uh, find out where you lived? Did you do a main check? Did you check the system for pictures or addresses? Did you do any of that, sir? So typically when I get a case, it uh, pops up, we call it our hopper. It's where this is all of our cases we got today. Uh, I make my initial calls, try to make contact with victims, mm -hmm. you know, get them in for another written statement, because you know, sometimes you know, we get a police run, people's minds are elsewhere, you know, mm -hmm. or you know, they don't ask the right questions. I might need more for my investigation. Mm -hmm. Someone's to come in, either me or someone else, it might be you. Uh, you know, get a written statement from them so I can you know, more of the story. Okay. That way, once I do send something like this over, whatever I get, I can put on paper and I send it over to the prosecutor. If they think there's probable cause to go forward, and then a magistrate thinks that, then it gets signed. If they don't, then I can only present what facts I have. Okay. At your precinct, you guys have a warrant prosecutor? Yes, typically I remember from back in the day, you know, like they have assistant prosecutors available so that they can sign off and stuff like that. And that's relevant. He's fine. Um, 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 and, um, and also, I'm going to check the notes here. Your argument that there was no warrant signed. What is your. I'm trying to show how his investigation. Came for like I mean like I know I've read things in certain Fourth Amendment fruits gathered after an illegal search and seizure are in the court and I'm trying to establish that I remember from back in the day that they had prosecutors readily available that could sign off on stuff like this. the prosecutor didn't even sign off on this. Okay. and I'm just trying to I'm, I'm sustaining the objection it's not relevant right now you can put okay. that in a motion if it gets filed over. Um, are you aware that Mr. McCurry, uh, past and present, has come into your precinct bay complaints against your office of parent? Your brother, Norman? No, me, Colonel Mike McCurry. Ill. I'm going to object. Always oh, relevant. It's for purposes of impeachment, Judge. That's Everything how it's relevant. It's for impeachment. People versus Santa Bay. Yeah, Santa Bay allows. It does not say you can impeach on anything. I know that case law does not say that. You can say anything oh. with impeachment. That's not how impeachment works. Okay. Well, I'm trying to I'm trying to show and establish retaliation by DQ okay. because of okay. numerous complaints against them because of recording them, putting them on YouTube, where okay. they told the so officer to break in the house. On the stand, doesn't know your brother, Carrie, until this case is filed. He doesn't know you. So can we move on to something else about what happened on the date and time of the investigation regarding you and your brother's complaints? I mean, yeah, I objected again to this court's uh, uh, handling of this case. Um, I had something in mind, which you proved me on the This is Jim here. Um, um, okay. 
did you ever look at Mr. Uh, McCray's picture? Was you, it, it was stated in here that you showed, or one of your officers showed Mr. McCray, my brother Norm McCray's picture. Is that correct? Correct. Um, do you know what picture it is? Do you have a copy of that picture here today in court? Because that wasn't in discovery. It's included in my packet. It's an OPA's office. Michigan uh, SOS picture. Uh, Provided to me by the law enforcement information that we call link. And 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 what came up in the link? Drive my driver's license or what came up? The Michigan SOS picture, yes. Oh, okay. All right. Um, your uh, uh, honor, can I have the uh, court officer show the pros I mean, the prosecution's witness something? Your honor, yeah, your witness. No, I have. What is it? I, I don't even know what you're trying to do. I'm, I'm a man of foundation. He's keep trying to shoot what me down. To do? I mean. I'm trying to figure out how he came in contact with me, how he came about me. He just stated in here, so I'm going to show my driver's license. Okay. Did you ever look at Mr. McCurry? I object uh, to the denial of that. Did you ever look at Mr. McCurry's driver's license? His actual license? No. Who? Which Mr. McCurry? Me. I'm talking, talking about me when I address me. Well, Carnell McCurry. Did you ever look at Carnell McCurry's driver's license when you? Did the investigation. The physical license, the one that's in your wallet? No. Okay, but what I'm saying is in the system. It wouldn't be your license, it would be the picture provided by Lee. The picture by Lee. Oh, okay. Hmm. Lee system. I didn't, uh, okay, so uh, I believe on the paperwork it says a CTN. What is that, a CTN, sir? CTN. A CTN, like on judgments, warrants, things of that nature. It just says CTN, then it has all our right. You asking me what a CTN is? Yeah. So that's going to be generated by the system. No, I'm saying you give me a breakdown and define what CTN. It's not something I deal with on my end. Okay. Uh, may the may the people uh, attorney, since he always wants to object, can you tell me what a CTN means, sir? No, you're Um, I'm not testifying. Okay. Um, so you don't know the CTN? Did you know that a CTN is? I don't have objective relevance. I have offenders. I don't see the relevancy of the CTN. I'm just saying is I haven't finished my line of question. Well, I can't understand. imagine what a CTN has to do. Well, it's a cargo tracking note. I'm sorry, it's a, what? It's a cargo tracking note. Okay. <coughs> that's not relevant today. So All next right. question. I know you objected to that as well. Okay. Place on the record. So, objection to my system. He's the thing that objects. So ahead. you stated that you looked at my ID and whatever else in the link. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you know uh, that me, Colonel Mike McCurry, reserved his rights not to be uh, governed or controlled by I'm city and county state federal officials? Well, I mean, it's relevant. See, I tried to establish it's relevant. It's relevant to you, Mr. McCurry, but it's not relevant to the case here. Well, it's relevant because I'm not the strong judge. I'm not okay. doing business with the corporation. This is what I've been trying to establish, you but you're never being my defense. I am. Defense, I am. Um, <laughs> um, what about the motion so far as additional discovery to impeach him for? What did I say? Right? It's not gonna help. Uh, and I have those rights. What did I say? You say after the fact, it was filed no we will sign a discovery order, but I'm that's entitled that's to that to do a proper that's, uh that's defense. What I said, that's not going to change. Well, the federal law have a right to present a defense, and this court is denied. So I'm not denying at all. We've been here for over an hour, and you've been. To us. <clears throat> okay, um, I mean, I mean, I can't question this guy because uh this officer because the court the prosecutor keeps objecting on being denied the right. Well, maybe because defense. you're not that great at I mean, I'm, I'm very well. Uh I mean maybe I have a right you're not to not that well versed with the court rule or 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 evidence. Well, I'm, I'm, I fight with constitutional law, which you have ignored, which you have definitely to. fight with it. Well, I'm just saying under but the constitution, this court is bound by it. I know what I'm bound by. Do you have any other questions? I mean, I'm, I'm being denied, so I would just object, and then I would, uh, once if it's wound over, I would do a motion for a remand back to this court in front of the circuit court with paperwork. And you know, like I said, I'm in the process. Uh, I'll be taking that down in this coming week to the federal court. And I would like also to have this case removed to the federal court. You have any more questions of the witness? I mean, I can't Is question. Yes them. or no? No, I can't because okay. I'm being denied. Okay. Uh, any cross? No, you are. Okay. Thank you. Any other witnesses or 
Uh, yes, I would like to call the other witnesses listed on the paper. And what did I say about that? And you did not. Thank you. I said you did not subpoena them or ask the prosecutor to make it available for you to interview them for the exam today. So they're not here. So you're not prepared to call them. Well, can I, I, I just want to say this for the record. So just in case the higher court looks down the line at this. Sure. And like I tried to explain to the court, it was my intention based on the reading of the rule in the case law. It says even where you cannot show actual bias in Michigan Supreme Court, that you would be removed and then I would have time to prepare these motions and documents. And I'm being, I'm being railroaded by this court as well as people who just admitted they have no uh, warrants. They had no evidence. I mean, the what, what court, is the high court? That's what I'm at the district court level. So that's what higher courts are for. So they can address the what is that. Okay, but I may, may I respond to some, I'll say something. Now, the law is clear. I mean, you took an oath under Article 6, Section 2. I don't want to hear about it unless it's about your argument in response to people resting after they rest. Well, actually, they rest already. And you don't have any other witnesses present. Well, I mean, I'm denying my witnesses. You were never and denied. Then, you were never denied. You had a witness list that you didn't contact, you didn't ask the prosecutors to provide them I didn't think or this. make them available for you to interview or contact them or subpoena them to come to them. This has been adjourned several times. That's what you're trying to do so. I've let you go to the library to research. I've let you even go to the court to file a lien against my house. Oh, wait. I've done way more than I should have allowed you to do. So I am not going to adjourn this or mm -hmm. provide discovery request to you or grant that based off of you not being prepared today to call witnesses that were provided to you on the witness list. So are there any other witnesses present today that you would like to call? Well, I would like to respond if I yes, Yes, because no. you, I mean, you say I'm on, I mean, I can't because I'm being denied. Okay, so you don't have any other witnesses? I mean, I have them. Yes, my brother Charles McCreary. I would like these police officers to be brought into court. Uh, Robert Bain, Diana Durrell. I have many other people that are willing to come to court and testify. And I'm being denied that. Like I, And I would like to just again clarify for the record that I didn't think that you would be moving forward because I was just in a court proceeding with Judge, uh, what's her name? Where she denied the motion that she sent it to the chief judge. Because from my understanding that the judge, if the judge grants it or denies it, then they have to send it to the chief judge. You never rule granting or denying the motion per the court rule. You and just need to be in so why would I make a decision? I mean, well, what I'm saying is you why would I make a decision on something what I'm saying so where far. you're saying that I'm biased to you. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm about to answer this. Like, if you would have said denied, then you had to send it to the chief judge. If you would have granted it, okay, it would have been sent for a blind draw. For the rules and other people versus this uh, is line drawing. This is not. This is not trial. <laughs> this is the exam stage. I understand. Okay. So you don't have any further witnesses Why today for the exam. I mean, I have. I won't do them at the exam. They're just not here because you did. Subpoena so them, ask them to come, or ask the prosecutor to make them available. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, people move by no defendant on all charges. Um, it is it's a matter of uh, uh, it's a question of fact. Uh, we have one witness uh, very uh, that says that the defendant took shots at him but in fear for his life. Uh, Defendant is uh, a felon, convicted felon, uh, and therefore he's not allowed to have firearms or ammunition. Uh, he, had, he had attacked his own brother with bricks and a rifle. Uh, and there has been no official testimony of him not doing it other than the defendant during his objections or arguments or whatever they are, saying that I didn't commit a crime. It's, it's a question of fact. It's, it should be found over. And, it, 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 and the testimony was um, that it occurred in the city of Detroit in County of Wayne, so this court definitely has the jurisdiction under the court rules and the law uh, to uh, Hear this and find this over. Um, and, and, you know, he came at his own brother. I mean, 
shot at him. So we have to bind over on all charges. Um, first and foremost, I would love, uh, like to object because by the officer's own admission and the prosecutor knows fully well, uh, there's no evidence, Judge. Um, not just that. Um, the witness lying here in court today, and he's not credible. He stated that he never forged any signatures or whatever else. And I have evidence to show the opposite that he committed perjury right here on the stand. Also, I don't, uh, the burden is on the prosecutor. I'm innocent until proven guilty per uh, administration of justice. Um, again, I adamantly object and deny these allegations. He's stating that uh, ammunition and all that, where's the pictures of the guns, Judge? Like I stated before, where's the evidence at? Except my brother who has lied in the past and he has a uh, dishonest history and he has a history of theft. And let me finish. I didn't object to I didn't uh, interrupt him. I didn't interrupt him. I'm giving my call. I didn't interrupt him. I'm just going to object. That's fine. I didn't say that when he was talking. We've been talking all day. I'm going to object this. He's a pulling fact that we tried to get into evidence and they're not in there. Mr. Salaki, I know this. Okay. Objection on the record. Mr. Larry. Okay. Um, under Opera versus United States, 348 U.S. 84, um, the Supreme Court held and accused extrajudicial admissions of essential facts or elements of the crime made subsequent to the crime are of the same character as confessions and cooperation by independent evidence is required. Uh, a, the requirement of cooperation applies to exculpatory statements to the same extent that it applies to incriminatory, incriminatory statements. Uh, the jury's finding in this case from the admissions of the essential facts together with all other evidence that the guilt of the petitioner have been established beyond a reasonable doubt is supported by substantial evidence. Beyond a reasonable doubt is that the trial level. Okay, and I'm, I'm just reading this, like, uh, to prove that the cooperative evidence need not be sufficiently independent of the statements to establish the court's delight. Um, it is sufficient if the cooperation supports the essential facts admitted sufficiently to justify a jury inference of their truth, but those facts plus the other evidence must be sufficient to find guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, I understand that this is just probable cause, but why waste the state's money and continue this vindictive prosecution to proceed, Your Honor? They've admitted that they have no evidence. They've admitted that they have nothing but this man's word of mouth who is, is, is in, in the community is known as a liar and a perjurer. And I wanted to call Chief Judge Burtney, who's in Wayne County Third Circuit Court, to establish this, that he lied under oath, that he committed felonies. I mean, the prosecutor's office committed felonies, their witnesses committed felonies. I mean, it's, it's factual. So at this juncture... You all that it says to trial the Third Circuit. But again, I would like to object to this court's uh, hearing of this exam for judicial bias because under Kane versus MPLC, it says that even if I can show bias, justice teaches that the judge recuse himself because you have been the target of criticism and so on and so forth. Only by you. Okay, but what I'm saying is, and I've been arguing the law, and the court overruled federal law with state. How long is that law? Okay, well, I've, I've researched it. I researched it <laughs> and I've shepherdized it in the still good law. Okay. So um okay. Mr. McCurry, you have major argument rejected for the record. I'd like to preserve that. Um, Argument that there's no evidence presented today. What the court has to remind. Is that testimony is evidence, whether you like it or not. Uh, I do believe that the witness, Mr. Norman McCray, is credible. Uh, and the version of proof is on the point. And they have to show as a probable cause maker. First, it's all the text murder that the defendant tried to physically injure a person, another person. There's testimony uh, that the defendant, Mr. McCurry, 
try to by not only aiming but also firing a gun at the complaint witness. Second, that when the defendant committed that assault, he had the ability to cause injury. Uh, in this case, he did have the ability. That was a deadly weapon. That would definitely cause injury. And third, that the defendant intended to kill the person he assaulted and the circumstances did not legally excuse or produce the crime. That would be a question of fact. The trial of fact has two intents to point the gun. I do believe that the probable cause standard point a gun and shoot at someone shows intent to kill. Um, as far as the remaining charges, assault with intent to break by the house arrest of murder is lesser included, satisfied by the evidence and testimony. The count three firearm possession by a felon has been established in exhibit one, in which uh, Mr. Mercury is not eligible to be possession of a firearm, as well as count four ammunition in the um, weapon. Satisfied count four, ammunition possession by a felon, and count five, assault with dangerous weapon for his assault, uh, has been satisfied based on the same testimony from the complaining witness and, of course, the four accompanying uh, weapons by the firearm charges. So, Mr. McCurry, you're going to be bound over to Third Circuit Court, Framework for Health Justice, for your arraignment information date of June 29th at 9 o'clock a.m. I do not know if it will be on Zoom or if it will be in person. It depends on which judge you draw. Uh, anything else from you, the party? No, nothing for the people, Your Honor. Other than your objections? Um, I would like to um, uh, place my objections on the record because throughout this entire proceeding, I feel that this court has been biased. Uh, when it comes to rulings, they've even allowed this uh, prosecutor to uh, use state law to supersede federal law. As stated in uh, Cohen's versus Virginia, that is considered treason in the United States Constitution. These are landmark cases. And also, you know, uh, the witness lied under oath by stating he didn't do this, this, and that. And I mean, uh, under a uh, standard due process, the U.S. Supreme Court held that no matter what rules you create, you must use fundamental fairness. Was it, was it crazy, right? Well, I mean, you asked me that everything else is Anything else? Anything addition? Well, I object. I mean, I just let you buy your okay, I Can I say one more thing? Um, again, like I challenged jurisdiction before testimony was even brought in. And I denied it. And, okay, but the law mandated. Do you mandated, discovery order signed? I mean, I would like all the officers, background history, Kim Worthy's. I would like the, uh, the uh, individuals here today because it shows a pattern of history of felonies being committed against citizens. So what I'll do is I'll sign <laughs> this discovery right here, and if you want to expand it, the new judge that you get across the third circuit, you can ask for those additional things like Kim Worthy's background. I'm not giving you that. Or I don't even know what that is. Well, what I'm saying is so far, she's the chief officer of the county. Yes. And, and everything. And I am not going to that. And everything okay. that her subordinates I'm do. I'm signing she, a normal. Well, what about the bond? Scale certified discovery order for you to make sure that you have everything in any video. It was mentioned that there was video possibly at the police station. This will be that if we could. Okay. okay, well, what about the bond? I mean, I didn't run. I'm not a runner. Why do you got this tether on me? I mean, I can't get out of work like I need to. I can't get out of move. I mean, I don't know what my brother said. I'm not trying to do anything. I this is a complete I fabrication. Give you a lot of Pardon? I give you a lot of leeway. I mean, I'm going to you I have a right to live. And my liberty is being restrained by these people who are committing And the other option is within the Wayne County Jail with assault and sent the murder charges. <coughs> Six twenty-nine at nine o'clock. Okay.